Leslie and Gail Kaplan, in memory of their parents, Harry and Marjorie Sadell and Irving and Pro Kaplan, children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren of Paul Harris, Sarah Dova, but you showed Dova, Charlie Guffin, Sam Levine, and Emily of Ramona Levine, Rachel Mata Barashir, friends of Nina Monestra, Nechama Mahasta, Bagis Gagaharon, many friends of Judah has not been well, but he was a very strong force in the uh, in education programs for many years. Okay. Okay. In fact, uh, I think he used to give a shir. He used to go to after Hashkam in the morning. He used to give a shir. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Time, some of us are here a long time, right? Sorry? <laughs> I said some of us are here a yeah. long time. All right. So what happens in our Gemara today? I'm going to. I just I gotta you know, gotta get my head back on. But into we're the text. Off. It's not eight brothers anymore. It's right. Okay. Brothers. We finished with the eight brothers, Kenahara. All right. All right. So, so uh, <laughs> we have. Two married sisters, one sister and daughter, a sister, uh, okay, or a mother and her granddaughter. Okay. That one always blew me away. Oh, all right. Our mother and her grand, her grandsons, or her son's daughter, her granddaughter through her son. All right. Okay, that was the case. Rabbi Shimon Poter and Rabbi Shimon said, uh, "Zip." All right. They needed neither chalitza nor yibo. Okay. All right. If one of them was prohibited as an air for prohibition, prohibited to her, but permitted to be her sister. There's no Zika. Right. right. So in other words, since there's no potential to be able even to do Yibum or Chalitza to her, to the Okay, situation. Yeah. All right. So that was what we said. And then we the Mishnah finished up, right, with the business with uh, the mitzvah or, mitzvah or, or our Kedusha. Right. And there it said, Chotzot Velomit We did a, the piece of the Gemara there. Why ask Rabbi Yosh Shimon, etc. Right. Right. And then the Gemara we finished up at the bottom there. Va'amar Rabbi Shimon, Shteya Chayot. Right? So that's where we sort of ended up. Isra Mitzvah Chole, as we go on to today, right? Kaftet Ahmed Aleph, right? So, 
right? Vaha Amar Rabbi Shimon, but didn't Rabbi Shimon say as follows, right? That when this situation of two sisters, okay, in that case, implying one being in the air, right? That we don't do chutzah, we don't do evil. But the Gemara challenges it and says, but don't we have a, a Gizera decree that says uh, in regard to a situation of Isra Mitzvah or Isra Kedusha, are we talking about it in general? Okay. Okay. So in other words, that's fine for the ones prohibited. Okay. Why? In other words, because of the, of the particular mitzvah in that situation. The mitzvah says she can't, can't marry that particular woman. Fine. We understand that. But what about the other one? Okay. The other sister. Okay, Achota, right? Her sister, my Ikalamema. What are you going to say about that? Right? So the Gemara then tries to give us an example, an explanation. Gzeira Achota, Mishum Uleta Bidek. Okay? Why, says the Gemara? Because we have a decree, right? And the decree regarding the sister, because she is not, uh, so to speak, available. All right. Uh, I have a note that I found. If goes, can't read my own writing sometimes. Goes without the, the situation, without, uh, if goes without sa, might assume all forbidden by the mitzvah. Okay. And therefore, don't require chalitza uh, either. If you, right? In other words, she's mechliyev min hatayra. It's she's aser to him from his, right, which is only midrabban. True. If we right. do not require to give her chalitza, then people might misunderstand people. <laughs> and say wherever, wherever there's a woman that forbidden, has forbidden, the other, the other one, one is permitted. Right. So we make her do chalitza to preclude that this perspective. I'm just finding it. If goes without Lisa, and if that one goes without Chalitza, might assume are bidden by mitzvah, and therefore don't require any Chalitza. Okay? So, so, there's, so in other words, it's as if we're going to say that requiring Chalitza for that other, that other sister is not only simply at the Rabbanan, but it's lest people think that's, yeah. To that, that people not get messed up right. as to what the right. rules are. The, the implication here seems to be that, just as a quick aside, that it's as if to say the common people aren't familiar with the details of, this, of the so situation. The R&D, that is so complicated. Okay. Well, but the point is, you know, at times we see the Gemara says cola, that there is a public knowledge, yeah, public but awareness, no knowledge. but here there's so not. These are all very special okay. cases. Right. So let's go on. Vaha gabe erva lo But in regards to a situation of erva, are we saying we don't apply a decree? We let her go. We let her go? Because everybody... Right, what happens here, that's my point. Shani erva, the migmar gamiri la in shay vikala itla. Okay, so that's the point I'm trying to bring up here. That in those situations where there is a prohibition of erva, people are familiar with what that law is. Okay, and therefore this, I want to call it rumor, publicity, and awareness, public awareness in that why situation. The why the other one has to be. Okay, so there's a marked difference here between apparently what the again call the common people are familiar with as in implying that they're familiar with they hear the torah read on a regular basis and therefore okay well they may hear it other times too okay right but clearly they're familiar with what's there in the torah but they may not be familiar with 
special cases where it's a Durabana situation. Okay? All right, let's go on to our new Mishnah now. Okay? In our Mishnah, okay, I'm going to throw up, so to speak, a little quick diagram. Not that this is as difficult as some of the others, but I, I just think it's a little easier sometimes to. No, because somebody's going to zoom in. Somebody's going to do my. We're going to see in a second. That's a little different. The discussion is about the medium. <clears throat> Okay, now we said we've got we're going to have three brothers and two wives and two sisters who are married to the two of the brothers. And the second brother, the third brother is about. So these, so notice these two are married to two sisters. Okay, and this guy's the bachelor. Right, it's going to go on. Levy is living it up. <laughs> okay. We're going to end with a never. <laughs> All right. So that's our situation. Okay. And this, this, uh, it's not as, well, we'll see what happens <clears throat> here. The reason I, I want, like the drawing in this case is because we're going to see there's something unique in this scenario, okay? Mat Neaton says our Mishnah, Shlosha Achim, three brothers, Shnayim Nesuin Shte Achayot, two are married to two sisters, Ve'echad Mufna, he's the bachelor, right? What happens? It says the Mishnah made Echad Mi Ba'alei Achayot Va'asa Ba Mufna Ma'amar, so what we're going to do is we're going to say this brother is Nifta, and then what we're going to do is make a mimer with Levi. All right. Okay. So he's made a ma'amar with her. Okay. Did you mind or not? <laughs> Why wouldn't it just why wouldn't it just be mine you not and the mime was like a cream? Right. Why you know, it's the so question is why didn't why didn't he just go ahead and do they will, he we will, why does he just do mama? They, they, they if, because in normal life there is Kedushin and then the Suyan and they're separated by many months. And because you have to let the widow hang out for several months to determine if her husband had impregnated her before he died. They no, created it's... Mimer as a parallel to Kedushin to link the Almana to the surviving son. And then they waited several months and then they did Kedushin. That was the institution. So we think of it weirdly, but it was normal to do a mimer if he planned to do Yibo. Now what we're going to worry about. But what would happen if she were in fact pregnant? Then they'd know. Then, then they would he'd give her a get and be finished. Yeah, because the mimer. Well, maybe he would have to give her a get and do Khalid. No, because she's got a baby. Oh, she's got a baby? Okay. She doesn't do Khalid's if she's got a well, baby. We'll, That's one of the we'll see. Who's is it? Who's is it? It's the no, case. In other words, if she's waited the three plus months, okay? That's required. That requirement, okay? So that by then, if there's a birth, they would know who the father is. Okay. So if it's from the first thing is Right. If we think of, uh, of Mama as a rabbinic requirement like to make to make the the Bia not just 
flam bam thank you ma'am so to speak well, I'm not allowed to enjoy it to make it look nicer that's right right Marty. it's a very it's to make the situation look more appropriate and therefore you make it a parallel yes sir one okay anyway what happens so mr Wufner, mr bachelor over here has done a mama to uh Let's call her Rockle. They always do Rockle and Leia. They don't do Leia. Well, that's you two. All right. All right. What's happened now? Okay. Second brother, Shimon, dies. All right. Now he's died. And this sister also falls to him. Right. Okay. They're both sisters. It happens. Right? right. Now let's go on in our discussion. Remember with the first one. Right. Yeah. Doesn't that already exclude her? That's going to be the, 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 That's gonna be the quick, good time. question, Marvin. Okay. Does that mean that he's made a decision and therefore that that takes care of the second one too? Not yet. We don't know. He hasn't done an act except for Mama, right? Marvin, you know it's always going to be a lot Okay. So what happens? We said made Achiv Hashim. Beit Shammai Omrim. What does Beit Shammai say? Ishto Imo. And he gets to keep his the first one that he made the mamar with because it implies seems to imply that they shamai has the strength mamar has the strength as if it is almost making an actual wedding bond okay that's what it seems to imply okay we got to keep that in mind all right. And the second one goes off because he can't, because she is the sister of his wife. She marries her old boy. Okay, what happens? All right. That he, according to him, Hello. Not only does he give her a gift, but he also must do chalitza. Okay. And what happens? The Ashid Achiv Bachalitza. He must for the second sister. All right. The wife of the second brother also do chalitza. And then what happens? Zo well, it's not it. Zo maybe for them, but not for him. No. Okay, so what happened? This is I'm going to say what the people say. Woe is him for his wife. Woe is him for the right his sister in law. In other words, he gets neither of them. Right. As a wife. Okay. So, in other words, he's a this and that. All right. Okay. Maybe he's lucky. Well, if the other two poison their husband, he's. We don't know. Okay, what, what, okay, right, but the question, I'm going to take Steve's question, gentlemen, I'm going to take Steve's question and just put a little different spin on it and say, if that's the situation, according to Ben Hillel, then you're totally doing away with the mitzvah of Edom Doraita. All right, because he's Khalid. So it's a inferior Khalid. According to right, but Minhat, that's only the Republican. According to the Torah, 
it would they be acted appropriately and avoided problems. True. Okay. Well, let's see. Because they shall uh, Let's see. All right. We're gonna. It's, it's an interesting question. Who we pass That's gemara. That's, That's gonna be the rest of the gemara. Right. Zohi lemauti mai. This comes to exclude whom? Lemauti hach the Rabbi Yoshua. To exclude that by Rabbi Yoshua. The law of Idan of Dinan Kivate that we say we don't do by what he says, okay, which we're going to be see. Ella e Karabi Gamrayo o Karabi Eliezer, but we do according to the view of Rabbi Gamriel or the view of Rabbi Eliezer, namely Amar Rabbi Eliezer. He says, Lo Tema Ma Amar, okay. Don't say that the act of Ma'amar, according to Beit Shammai, is like a complete, all right, you want to say Kedushin? Okay. Uh, I, I'm still not comfortable with our use of the word Kedushin here, personally. Okay. All right. I understand that. Okay, but I'm still not comfortable with the word using the word condition. That's right. And I understand that. I'm just more comfortable using a Russo. Okay. All right. That's right. Because if we're going to say enough to uproot to end the relationship through a get, Okay, to put off that's it. Right? Ama Rabbi Avin says Rabbi Avin Af Ananami Tanena. We also have learned the same thing says Rabbi Avin. Beit Shammai says Yikaimu. Beit Shammai says he can keep the first wife. Yikaimu ain. Okay, if he's married her, then he can keep her. Yes. Lechachila, but initially he shouldn't have married. No. Okay. When he did the mama, he should have come, followed through with actual spear. That's well, the point. We flip back and say the other argument. I would suggest that it is a solid a room, and therefore there is any end of that relationship. He has to certainly give her a get. All right. Therefore, we're in agreement, right? In the Russian, right? Precisely what we just said, Marvin, right? Let him go ahead, having done the mama, and go ahead, finish the word job, so to speak. Okay? Do then the complete the uh, kinyan with, okay? Right? Put him off of that co-wife. What do we no, mean? Of the other sisters. The co-wives are gone already by the mimer. Right? So let him do a ma'amar to this one and put off that one. Put a do ma'amar to this one and put off that one. So what do you have to say? That's where there are four brothers. We're going to have four brothers. If there were multiple brothers, more than just the one movement. Right. Okay. The hetera, okay. When we say it's a ma'amar in a situation,
the others who let's call it that one. It, right, it's an achos, but it's still, and she's still a zakuka. And right. so therefore, if you can say you put her off, okay, right? Lo dache, it's not put off, right? Hachanami here too. Ma'amar afilu laman da'amar ma'amar kone, kinyan gamur. Okay, if we say the ma'amar, according to the ones who say that <coughs> establishing the ma'amar is like a complete uh, acquisition. Ma'amar <coughs> dahetera kane. Then that ma'amar to a zakuka who is permitted to him is. She uh, teaches the following way. Amar Rabbi Yazid says as follows: Lo tema ma'amar lebeit shamai dachei dechia gemur. Don't say that ma'amar according to beit shamai. Uh, I'm going to say the word so to speak. Simply puts off, right? Completely dismisses the other puts sister. off the other sister, the right. second sister, right? Vitsarata. Chalitza nami lo and then to say a co-wife, her co-wife, in the, even in regards to chalitza, is not required. Right. Right. What happens? Ela doche umeshayerhu. Beit Shammai names is Beit Shammai. Yikaimu. That's why it says that they may remain with the first woman, he may continue in marriage. Okay, that's what I said. Beishamai omrim yikaimu, yikaimu, and that he'll continue with her, yes. Lechachila, no. But initially, no, he should not have. Ve'i sagadatcha ma'amar lebeishamai doche dechia gemura. And if you're going to think, that the ma'amar according to Beit Shammai, okay, totally puts us on second, that sister, that second widow, right? Zdeya asem ma'amar Okay, when there are more. But rather here, it's taught Beit Shammai Omri. That Beit Shammai clearly says, Ishto imo valazo teitse mishum achot isha. That this one was the first that sister he made the mamar with. that the first sister that he made the mamar with, with from the old first brother, she that stays, one stays, stays with, with him. him. And, the other, okay? and the other one, needs to say, yes, right? to right? the other one he has to do later with. Okay, but Alozo Tetsemi Shuma Kotz Visha. She does not need anything. Right. She's a sister of the wife. She's the sister of his wife, and therefore exactly the other is considered a Rusin, and therefore she's the brother. Right? Okay. Right? So that's the problem. So that now, Ella. So Ella always means hold on a second, guys. Rather, We've got another situation that we've got to clarify. Okay. Yavama de Khazilakuhu. That would seem to be that she is a Yavama who's able to who's suitable for all. But in other words, by the shuk is the Gemara sometimes. She's a Yavama, she should not be suitable for all. Lo she should not be suitable even in part. Okay, that's the point. All right, we go that now. That means it, yeah. it, that the mimer is ineffective, therefore he still has a zika to the other woman. Okay, so in other words, the implication comes back to Marvin's question. Having done Mamar, what's the situation with wife with widow, widow number two? two. Okay, 
even having done ma'amar to widow number, sister widow number one, okay, there's still a zika to sister widow, number two, yeah. widow number two, okay? So is he done? No. No. So now, we understand, now we can understand there why, in a sense, Beit Hillel says no, even having done, having done the ma'amar to widow number one, okay, he has to first of all give her a get because the ma'amar is like a Rusin, and therefore he has to give her a get and also has to do chalitza for her. In case the ma'amar did okay. Right? And number two, widow number two, he has to do chalitza to her. And that we understand now why the, what the position of Beit Hillel is. Right. Okay. All right. Finishing there, we go on now to uh, a new situation. By Rava, Rava asks the following. Right. He wants to clarify. Ma'amala Beit Shama. When Beit Shama says the act of Ma'amala, Nisuino se. Oh, Erusino said, you see why I wanted that language. All right. Is it like actual marriage ceremony? I'm going to use that language. Okay. Or do we say it in quotes only like an Erusin? Okay. A formal engagement. Right. And the reason I used formal engagement clearly is because it's not like we understand in the nowadays. Engagement in their day meant it's almost as if they are married. She is married. She's an anxious She's 100% married. He just can't I wouldn't go that far. All right. So she, it's a formal engagement in which have a marital relationship, okay? A marital relationship, but is no uh, consummation of that relationship. And she doesn't have to sit Well, there are other things we're going to get okay? So if for some reason in that, they would end, want to end uh, the marital relationship, he would tell me to give her a gift, yeah. just as if it was a answer. That's the point. Okay, so that's how we need to understand Robert's question. Okay? Because, right, because he's making that distinction. So let's see what happens. All right. When there is, when it's an Eru scene, that's, there's no concept. All right. That's the point. They would wait maybe a year. Okay. Depends. All right. Now what happens? Amarle Abai. So Abai is coming back to him. The Mai Hilchata. So in other words, halachically, what's the difference between the two situations? He's asking. We've already clarified here, okay, that clearly if there's if there's been a relationship, he must give her a What's the difference with are there, other, are, are there other elements that make it different? Okay. The consummation of right. if we say the Yorsha to inherit her, the and if he's a Kohen to become Tame, okay, in situation, okay, to nullify her vows, right? Hashta Arusa Baama Tani Rabicha. Ishto Arusa, the Onain, the Lomitamela. Okay, if it's going to say that these things, that what we're going to say is the issues deal halachically with inheritance, Tuma, her, her vows, here as an Arusa, okay, Baama in general, 
Tani Rabbi Chia, Rabbi Chia taught in the terms of a woman in that, okay, status. Status, thank you. Ishto Arusa, Lo Onein, he does not mourn for her. Velo Metamela, if he's a Kohen, he doesn't become Tame on her behalf. Vachen he, Lo Onenet. Okay, and she does not mourn for him or does not become Tameah for him. Meta, if she dies, wow, she's still in, still in Arusa, exactly. A no Yosha, he does not inherit her, right? May who he dies in that Arusa. A routine situation. Go back to Bata. She does receive her ketuba, the amount of money ordinarily designated in the star, right? Of, right? Star kedushin or star nisuin. Okay. Avad ba ma'amar and therefore we come back to our question, all right? If he did the ma'amar, what's the what's the tachlis? What's the halachic tachlis? What's the strength of the ma'amar, right? Okay, ve'ela, but rather le'inyan mesira lechupa. Maybe the difference is only in the situation of bring her actually on okay in other words as if bring her into a home family situation which therefore allows him to say he may have conjugal relations okay my what is it by the torah we can say that is essentially marriage, right? He doesn't really even turn under a, okay? Odium, that's the art, only has the ceremony of an erusin. Ubaying misimalechu, and therefore he will be quiet. If it's against the will, in other words, it, it seemed to imply, <coughs> Dorata, that all he that he doesn't need a chupa, all he needs to do is have the conjugal, and he can do it even though she doesn't, even know. though she might not uh, care for it. Right. That's what he's seeking to do. <coughs> so then it shouldn't look like he's basing a woman. Okay. Right. Okay, so maybe the mar is simply a rabbinic nicety. Okay, once you have the mar, he has to do a rosa. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. All right. I, I, the mar his intent to fulfill Yom and therefore have relations with her. Okay, so why did he then just go ahead and do it? That's the implication. Amarle. Okay, so he comes back and says to him, Shani, it's right, Shani Omer, Kol Haosem Amar Diabamto, whoever does Ma'amar. With his zakuka, with his yabama, pacha mimenu zikat yabamin, vechale zikarusi, that it has broken or split from him the zika, the relationship of a yabama. It may nullify her vows. So, according to Rabbi Elazar, 
okay, in that situation, okay, when she is still, yes, Bob. Once a Yavoma situation happens, in other words, uh, there's a death, does that create the Pesuba uh, relationship? In other words, is he obligated to pay a Pesuba as soon as the Yavoma uh, starts? Or, or if not, We really consider the statement of Ma'amar a strong enough commitment to, to that it's almost like the marriage bond. Okay? The Gemara has said if he dies during that, let's say, period between the Ma'amar and the whatever we want to call it, be a uh, uh, whatever, if he dies during then, she must receive the Kasuba. The Kasuba told us that. So there are apparently those who consider the Mama a strong enough from doing Yibum Alitza. And now he's precluded another brother from acting. Right. What is it done to you? But it's very strong. It depends on whether he's done ma'amar or not. Or he right? did the act of Yibam. Or if he did the act well, if well, he did the act of Yibam, that's a done deal. It's, done. it's over already. Okay? That's why I'm thinking it says show merit. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're talking right. about. She, she had the, the brother. She's in limbo. Shite. She, she's in limbo. She's a widow. She's waiting for the Abam to do something. But we don't know yet if he's done a Ma'amar or not. Or if he's done Yibum or not. He's done a Litsa or not. By, by that even without the mamar bar that being while she's in that limbo status it's as if still the the zika is so strong that he could nullify her vows okay all right so i would i would assume i would assume i don't know that Rabbi Elazar would argue if he should die, the Yabam in that situation, yes, she would get a katoo. Okay? To answer back to your question. More than so that was his view. Okay? Rabbi Akiva Omer, lo lechad lo not for one and not for two. He often has no right to neighbor than the poor of the somebody else. In other words, I, I would go further than that movement. I would say that maybe Rabbi Akiva holds that the Shomerit Yabam is in, as we said, limbo status. And we don't know what's going to be because he hasn't made a Ma'amar, he hasn't done Yibum. He hasn't done chalitza either. She's just waiting. Okay? But, but just to clear. And argue is the total opposite side as Rabbi Elazar. Right. So opinions, one, one way in the middle, one to the opposite. That's how I'm presenting it. Okay, and we discuss this, says the Gemara. Bishlema Rabbi Akiva Sava Ains Kafilu Lechad. Look what the Gemara is telling us. Okay, that Rabbi Akiva is saying that there is no Zika bond there, even for that single uh, Yabam. The Rabbi Yoshua Lechad Yesh Zika, the
Morris is that's a standable radio choose view when it's the for one Mayfair that we could argue then that's why we're saying that he could nullify her her vows. Ella Latre am I, but for two, why? Rabbi Barava, and didn't Rabbi Ami Barava say as follows? Hacha b'mayes kinen. What are we talking about here? Kegon de avad b'ma'amar. So he's oh, when we say shomei avam, we're going to understand it that he did yeah. do a ma'amar in this case. Ubeit shamayhi and Rabbi. The ma'ama is so strong that it actually creates the equivalent of a marital bond. <laughs> okay? While she's out there waiting, is she prohibited from accepting the Absolutely. 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 Especially if he made the ma'ama. Well, I'm saying if nobody did anything. No, she's not allowed to get married. So she's still not. Even if, even if he didn't do a ma'ama. That's your question, Steve. The answer would be she's got to sit and wait. Right? She's got to sit and wait. She's in a limbo status. Or, or, or if you don't like limbo status, we'll call her potential marriage to. And anything to the woman. Who he has a clear Zika to. So that means the co wives are also in limbo. Right, exactly. Exactly. Because of the mind. Right. Okay. right. Even if he didn't do a mind. Right. Because of the Zika. Because of the Zika. Right. As if he's honed in to this particular one. That's going to say to the co-wives, okay, oh, yeah. he's honing in on her. On her, he's going to probably do yibum, and therefore that's going to ultimately free us. But we have to wait. For, right. But we have no sisters of co-wives. It doesn't make no difference, sisters or not. But if he does not. Then we can say he can do that and therefore understandably nullify her vows. Ella Iamarta Erusin. If you're going to say, however, that it, that even with a mamar, it's more like a rusin, a formal engagement. Oh say, if he doesn't, hey matzi mefar. How is it possible for him to nullify her vows? Vahatanan, because aren't we taught elsewhere in a Mishnah? A young woman who is engaged, her, her intended husband and her father. And notice the order of the Mishnah. It says father first and then intended husband. Okay. Mafarim Nidareha. That was right. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak. He says, "My mefer." What does it mean when they say they nullify mefer b'shutafut? They nullify them jointly. And so it's only does errors, right? So that would seem to imply that it's only like an errors. Okay, ma'amar is only like an errors. Ula Rabbi Elazar. And according to Rabbi Elazar, the Amar Ma'amar the Beit Shammai, a no kona ela le dechot le tsarabil. It only comes a Ma'amar to uh, put off a co-wife. Back to your point, Sid. Right? Okay. Amai may far bishutafut. Why then do we say that they can only it only nullify jointly? It's not really an heir. It's, it's, really, it's not really your husband. Amar lach Rabbi Elazar. Rabbi Elazar could argue then. Amar, I might say, I might say then that the Ma'amar 
even according to Beit Shammai, only puts off the tzara, right? De lo sagi la begita. And he does not necessary to give her a get in that situation. According to Rav Nachman by Yitzchak, is this a suitable for speak? Who can talk today? Today is the day. It says it in Sailor and only to bother them. May nullify and bombs. Right. Bamayas Kenan. What are we then dealing with? It's not best because you refuse for maybe we don't know this. We don't know this. Okay. In any case, the base decides decides he must provide uh what a husband would normally provide for her. Minimally, minimally mizonos. Okay? Minimally mizonos. Upi de Rav Pinchas, Mishmei de Rava, as in the name of Pinchas, in the name of Rava, Amara Pinchas, Mishmei de Rava, called Anodit Adah, he no dare it. Okay, one who makes a vow does so on. He is then considered in the status of husband and may nullify her vows in that case. So does that answer our question of whether the Ma'amar is like Eusin or it really does not have a conclusion. And we'll stop right here because tomorrow will start with an addition. And it's a long Gemara. <laughs> and this actually was one of the easier Gemaras here. <laughs> right? That's good to know. Because <laughs> it was pretty straightforward. It wasn't. Do this job. That man. This at this at another two guys. Which you know what? I looked through it. What is it? It's the guy's case. Whether what the broken lines mean or what the yeah. I mean, it's a good. It's a good safe fair. All right, because it really does. Distinguish each and every case of relationship. Right. Okay, so from that point of view, it's just you know it, it's done for a particular crowd. <laughs> Number Green, when is the exam and what grade? <laughs>